Hello, it's Giles from HPS here, and uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about BST carbon fibre wheels and ceramic bearings. We know that everyone's got their own opinion about the benefits of carbon fibre wheels and uh, just how much difference they make to a bike. We know at HPS what they can do after having done quite a few tests now with journalists where they've fitted the wheels after having run a bike with metal wheels for some sessions at a circuit and then gone two seconds or so a lap faster just by changing the wheels. But all the tests we've done in the past have been with regular bearings in the wheels and um, here we have a, a BST carbon fibre wheel fitted with the ISR narrow track discs um, but also this wheel has hybrid ceramic bearings installed which produce far lower friction than um, a regular set of bearings so we're going to give the wheel a spin and start it rotating and then we'll have a chat about uh, what these bearings are all about and a few other bits and bobs while this wheel uh, slows itself down through its own friction so let's uh, let's give it a go now here we go, we'll give it a good spin and we'll start the timer and we'll see how long it rotates for so as the whole bike is supported through the two bearings on the front wheel and the two bearings on the rear wheel and obviously there's a big bearing on every normal sports bike rear wheel which supports the sprocket carrier uh, it's a dual row bearing normally which generates quite a bit of friction it's worth thinking about just how much less power is required to drive the bike along when it's rolling along on these low friction bearings anyway while the wheel is rotating and slowing down I'm going to go and uh, fit some pads to these lovely ISR six piston calipers which we distribute which are going to go onto this bike these uh, calipers I've got the regular 108 millimeter mount so they'll fit almost all late Japanese sports bikes straight on they're made from one solid piece of aluminium so they're a monoblock design we've got six individual aluminium tougher and coated calipers making the weight of these a quite astonishing about half a kilogram weight without pads in fact they're about half the weight of a normal uh, stock caliper that you'll find on a Fireblade or a GSXR. so when these are installed with, um, with pads the total weight saving on the front axle is about half or 0.6 per kilogram which is a worthwhile amount of weight saving on your unsprung weight so I'll go and pop these pads in while the wheel's still spinning. We're up to um, one and a half minutes now, so let's just see how long it keeps going for, shall we? Well, I'm halfway through fitting the pads, and uh, the timer's still going at 2.40. Let's just leave it there, shall we, see if we can see it on camera. Oh, we're just out of camera there, aren't we? But never mind. There it is again. So we're up to uh, 3 minutes 20, the wheel's still rotating, I've got the pads in here now and you'll see that um, these pads are tiny six individual items so each 
piston had its own pad. Let's bring one over to show you on its own. Here's a pad, and we supply these calipers with some uh, very special nano metal sintered pads, which perform extremely well both in the cold and in the wet and when getting out on your bike for the first time and also on the track and because we've got six six pistons the feel that they provide is really really second to none as well as the outright braking power So we've got the pads installed now, as you can see we've got six individual pads, here's, uh, here's one of them, each piston's got its own pad, and we supply these with some very special nano metal sintered pads that provide extremely good cold performance, um, great in the wet, great when you first get out on the bike, but also have extreme fade resistance on the track as well. The feel they give is really superb because each piston, being small, can push through its seal very easily. Can turn an individual pad, and these will go very happily onto a regular disc with a wider band, or onto a narrow track disc like this, which is uh, about 30 millimeters. So I'm going to pop these on to the bike when the uh, wheels finish rotating, but you'll see that it's still going now um, after five and a half minutes. I did just nudge it then which slowed it down a little bit uh, but we normally find that the wheel will be going for five or six minutes quite comfortably. So I think you can see the benefit of these bearings is very worthwhile and uh, if you want to give us a call to have a chat about installing ceramic bearings in your regular wheels or into your BSTs or if you'd like to ask any questions about the benefits of these uh, superb six piston calipers from ISR give us a call we're on 017383 two. or you'll find our website at www.bikehps.com. Thanks for watching.